Hello everyone, welcome to a Breaking It All Down Let's Play of Dragon Age 2. I'm Count Zero. I'm streaming this live on twitch.tv slash Count Zero OR if you are watching this live, which you guys already know that. Or if you are watching the archive on my YouTube channel, I am, well, yeah, that's where you can go to watch this live. It also will be the link on the show notes. So last time... We encountered a bug after we collected the contents of this crate and attempted to leave. Trap. Yep, that trap. After we collected the contents of this crate and attempted to leave. Ooh, the black hand. Yep, those contents. A blend of 27 toxic plant essences with a healthy dollop of cobra venom for that extra kick. That poison will kill a man in two breaths. I have it. <laughs> anyway, the game locked up while I was attempting to leave. The game even did an autosave for after I'd left, but that autosave was corrupted due to the fact of the game locking up. So, we're going to see if I can successfully leave or to start this mission over. This is the third bug I've encountered thus far in the game. And all three of you. And then kill you. That's you. And that's all of them. So now let's clean out your stuff. Chunk items, missed chunk items. Let's see if that helm's any good. That helm, we're gonna get the less descent gauntlets equipped. That. Yeah, no, you're not good. Two slot for this. I'm gonna do five slots, but All right, so let's see if this locks up. Only one way to find out. There we go. No lockups at all. Wonderful. Let's go turn in this quest to our client. You were a pirate. I had a husband. He didn't beat me. That's about the best I can say about it. So you left him? He was murdered by my lover. It was all very Antivan. Oh, I don't think I'd like to live in Antiva. I wonder, um... lover was, uh, oh shoot, it didn't fill my head. The, uh, assassin from the last game. Back to the hangman. Back to the hangman. Alright, I'm in the dock district right now. I'm in the low town. Duh. Back this way, then. Ah, 
Hey, there's somebody in the audience. Yay. So, I know this bug. Let's turn in this quest. Remain. Stop looking at my chest. My eyes are up here. But the chest. <laughs> Do you know how much I suffer under your gaze? I am a person, not an object. Uh, Varric? <laughs> Just shitting you. <laughs> oh, that was pretty good. You're smuggling poison. I thought you were trying to change your ways. I got the stuff from a legitimate supplier, and I'm going to sell it through legitimate channels. It's all legitimate. It's poison. It kills people. I just sell it. I'm not responsible for what people do with it. So, where is it? You hired me? I'm going to take you at your word that you are doing this legit, and besides, I used to work for a smuggler. So, yeah. Do you know where Alton Woodrow's warehouse is? Merchant Woodrow's place. I know it. Thanks for this, friend. You've more than earned your reward. I'm gonna get my goods. You come back once I'm set up, I'll give you a discount. I'm glad I don't have the, uh... Guardsman in my party, I would have hurt my friendship with her. Oh, well, and my viewer dropped out. So, next quest. All side quests dealt with. I like this bar. Everybody here knows your name. Running for cash. Let's check that. Find a merchant, sell my junk items. Isabel in the party because well today is well yesterday was talk like a pirate day and I didn't really get a chance to take advantage of it so might as well do it today by having a pirate in my party pop into the gallows so my junk items do the little side quest Men, women, elves. A dwarf in drag once, but I don't recommend that. <laughs> oh. oh, you're blushing. Why? How many lovers have you had? I... I never... You're a virgin. Hawk, you've been holding out on the poor girl. Get her a night at the Blooming Rose. On me. <laughs> My character's sister, so... That's a little weird. That's um very generous. I'm a giver. Uh-huh. Right, so side quest. Well, it it counts as a main quest, but still.
I am three sovereigns short. Hopefully, get me where I need to be. Nation? Ah, this is such a charming chunk of the world. I wonder if this quest is going to involve the Quinari. Being that they're... And it's kind of... Forgotten a, re a recent arrival in town. I am expected. I thank you for coming. This matter is delicate, and I need someone of limited notoriety <laughs> who will not leave this to me. It is an escort, but I think you will agree the nature of the party makes this unique. Limited notoriety. I'm a smuggler. Work with smugglers. Also, I've got Isabella with me. And Varen. Time is wasting. Who is going where? My name is Sister Patrice. I have assumed a burden of charity. This is my charge. Maker. Would even a Templar bind a mage like this? A survivor of infighting with their Talvashoth outcasts. I call him Katojin, a bridge between worlds. The Viscount and others feel that peace begins with appeasement. This mage would likely be returned to his brutal kin. He can serve a better purpose. I want him free. He must be guided from the city without alerting his people. Or being seen in my care. I've had dealings with the Kunari leader. He'd want to know of this. You have dealt with their leader. If you have interacted with Kunari, you know how they treat those who leave their heathen order. The Arashok would doom this poor creature. But knowing them is useful. If they challenged you, attacking an ally would only confirm their barbarism. You are still right for the task. All right. You don't just stumble on something. Someone like this. For all their blasphemous certainty, the Kunari do have deserters. Those who seek freedom are hunted mercilessly. Tal Vashoth. They seem to accept the role. Even their rebels conform. Savonel observed one of their bloody exchanges. This poor mage was the only survivor. And you think this mage was being hunted? I am certain no thinking creature would willingly submit to this. If he was not running before, he has seized the opportunity now. Yeah, I should probably check to see if he's actually going to defend- if- what kind of escort mission this is. Will he help? If I trust him at all. I don't know his capabilities, or if he can function at all in that collar. But I think he knows we are his only way out. You think? He has followed every direction and made no aggressive moves, even when taunted. Were I in his place, I could have fled. Kunari or not, I can only assume he wants to be led to freedom. And if you're wrong, I have to deal with it. That is why I went to Lowtown. You are either capable of the discretion and skill that I need, or you are not. I get why I'm a secret over why you're doing this without knowing my name, without while you've told me yours. You are not interested in who you might be hiring. If you were important enough to know, I would need someone else. 